Okay, it all started last year at San Antonio. Uh, our ag director and his father came together and they started coming up with a plan. His dad wanted to build a live bottom trailer, so right there at the river walk they started kind of coming up with an idea of what they were going to do. And then once this year came back around, we decided, all right, we're going to do this and we're going to do it big. Well, he, he was going to buy one, but uh, he decided since I was a senior, we might as well have a big project to do. So he won for, you know, silage and grain and just usage on the farm. And it'd be, it ended up being around 30000 cheaper for him rather than just going and buying one. It took us 2,400 hours with seven people. I mean, it was a heck of a project. We had to take out a lot of time and the fun we had to do. And just, that was our life, is in the ag shop. Well, at our school, the ag program is a really big thing, and so everybody wants to be a part of it. And we got into it our freshman year and just kind of started to learn how to do everything. And we just, I don't know, liked it a lot and wanted to keep doing it. You learn it from such a small age and you grow up around it, so, I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but we always want to know what's going on around us and why certain things are the way they are and how things work. So when you go into that freshman ag class, you have an ag teacher that'll say that some people say that girls can't do anything and he's throws you in that ag shop and teaches you how to do the basics of everything and you build on that skill and get to where you can build a project like this and be confident in your skill. Other trailers, 431, the 38-foot live bottom grain silage trailer. Larry says you got the money. Yes, I had to ask. Step together so he can get you all in the picture. Grand champion overall. Okay. The entry was 431. Vega. We kind of hoped that we were going to win. It's kind of our goal to go to all four of these shows and uh, hopefully come out the grand champion at each of them. Um, it's kind of what's expected of Vega almost. Uh, we've always had a great ag program at Vega and um, we are just hope to expand it even farther. Well, you know, to, to build a project of this caliber, it, it takes a lot of dedication. You know, they all had dates and they all had football games and basketball games and stuff that they had to make a sacrifice and so that's probably what makes the win even better because they did make those sacrifices. Hard work pays off. We all hear that. You hear that in the, in the sporting world that hard work pays off and and you know the the winner wins the champion and da 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 and and, and literally hard work paid off today because I can promise you that if, if you can see their shop clothes their shop clothes are greasy and dirty and nasty and and the thing about with these kids they just kept going 